we wanted to know, could we risk stratify before the surgery? Because there's a big trend in thyroid cancer toward minimizing that initial therapy. So this was a molecular biology approach to say, could we, from the nodule biopsy, when we know it's papillary cancer, could we predict who was going to be low risk or high risk afterwards? It was very interesting that about 80% of the time, the molecular biology confirmed that a low risk cancer was really low risk. And about 80% of the time, it confirmed that what we thought was an intermediate risk cancer was intermediate risk. So 80% is pretty good, it's not perfect. But what it allows me to do is if I think you're a low risk tumor, I'm probably gonna recommend just having half of your thyroid removed. But if that molecular classifier tells me that this is really gonna be an intermediate or high risk tumor, then instead of making the mistake of doing a lobectomy to start with, we'll actually take the whole thyroid out to begin with. So it's another piece of information that helps me decide when we're in that office together, do I take out half your thyroid or do I take out all of your thyroid? And it helps me to predict what that pathology report's gonna show after the surgery.